Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right. Just in time for another windy day at the lake. I'm headed over to Clear Lake Park on Lake Levon, the closest public campground to RV home base. Haven't been there. It's been closed due to staff shortages, but I was working on the motor home and I needed a place to plug in the 30 amp to test out the new air conditioning modification. And lo and behold, Clear Lake Park is open for business. So I secured a site. It is Memorial Day 2022. And as soon as that site opens up, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna do a little RV camping. Let's go see some, let's go see some Lake Levon stuff. The claim to fame at Clear Lake Park is Lake Levon. It stands, it, it only makes sense that they have a really great boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. And man, it is, it is so windy today. Of course, that's been the theme for all of this year is just nonstop wind. Plays havoc with all of my audio. There's a courtesy dock if you bring your boat down here. Of course, I don't think you're going to be tied up to it today. Not unless you want to get. Not unless you're going to get blown away. Let's go see some more windy stuff. At one time, there used to be a floating crappie barge down here. I guess they took that out a long time ago. It was over here on the left side. Y'all catching anything? No? No fish? Too hot? Too windy? <laughs> Nobody understood a word I said. Alright, let's go see some more stuff. So the day use area seems to be closed off, but there's a path that has been mowed. I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here or not. If I'm not, they'll come tell me. Clear Lake Park sticks out in the pen a peninsula in the middle of Lake Levon, and it is surrounded by a lot of uh, houses. In, in some cases, that's a uh, that's too kind a word. Residences. This area is at was at one time a beautiful little day use campground, or not campground, but picnic area. It could be that it's closed off due to well, I don't know. You look at the road and then you say, well maybe it's a more of a budget issue. Sure is pretty down here though. I know the back early in the year when I visited the other two campgrounds on Levon Lake, uh, it's recreation.gov said this that Clear Lake Park, this park, 
was closed due to staffing shortages. Don't know. There's actually a second boat ramp. Now, as I was pulling a little red out of the back of the truck, saw a sheriff's deputy cruising through. That's always a great thing. It's a good looking boat ramp. You just can't get to it. Alright, let's go find some more stuff. So I just had to have the the ADA conversation again with a park host in a Corps of Engineer campground. Bless their heart, I appreciate what they do. Uh, the Corps of Engineer district, the Tulsa district, really needs to needs needs to sort this out because the, the park staff, their, their interpretation of, of the, the mandate from the Tulsa district is no scooters. We don't care if you're disabled or not. If it's not street legal, you can't ride it. I don't think that park host is going to be tough. <laughs> I think he's going to be a little more cautious in the future about telling people they can't ride their mobility scooters. Cause I gave him a little, uh, I let it, I, I may have been a little hard on him, but no, I wasn't. I stood my ground. Don't you let anybody intimidate you when you're disabled and need a scooter. You can use that scooter any place that a bicycle or pedestrian is allowed. Period. No exceptions to that rule. All right, I'll, I'll stop. I'm in my site. I'm in site number two. Let's go talk about site number two. Let's go have some fun and see some stuff. So site number two, it's an asphalt pad. Hold on, let me get out here to the, to the road. So before we talk about site number two, I gotta pay for some diesel. <laughs> Diesel's expensive, so I gotta pay for some diesel. This site is sponsored by CampgroundViews.com. Welcome to your secret weapon to finding the perfect campsite. Campground virtual tours are here, they're real, and they're available for you. Have you ever been to Joshua Tree National Park? We have now. You're in Jumbo Rocks Campground, the most popular campground within that national park, and you're taking a look around. You're seeing the roads, you're seeing the sites, you're seeing how far away that restroom is from those sites. Details never before available to you as a camper are at your fingertips right now. You can even enter the dates of your stay. I'm going to be there on September 14th. You enter that date, hit confirm, and your map will update showing you which sites are green and available for your stay. Click on them and jump up to and take a look at that particular campsite. Is this one right for you? If it is, that's a pretty cool spot, isn't it? If it is, click on it, click book, and there you go. You can book that campsite right now. Campground virtual tours are available, as noted, for over 860 locations all across the United States. Go to campgroundviews.com, click on the virtual tours tab, and you'll see all the tours we have available right now. Note there's pages. Simply click on the pages to load more results, and it'll update the map and the listings below with the different campgrounds we have available. If you want to go by state, click the regions tab, and you can easily go to the various states that we currently have tours available of campgrounds all over the place. The campground virtual tours are a game-changing experience and we invite you to join now by going to campgroundviews.com, clicking on join and signing up today. The link is in the description below and I'll put one in the card right there. So let's get busy and talk about site number two. Number one, there's a big old pothole right here so when it rains it's going to be a mud hole. Asphalt is all busted up. 
it is a full connection 30 amp site we have sewer water and 30 amps which is why I'm, I'm here mainly specifically well uh, two reasons to show you this campground and I want to run the air conditioner when it's really hot like it is today on 30 amp because I put in the soft start as you if you've been following the channel you saw the video sometime a couple weeks ago back to site review we do have a, a burn pit a fire pit but with the wind blowing as hard as it is I don't think I'm gonna be building a fire Site's very level I really should have blocked up this left rear tire because it's it's marginal but not bad if I was here for more than a day and yeah it'd be a good idea to block that up so if you come here remember block up your your passenger side rear tire concrete picnic table with a metal cover that's fantastic the way if we get any rain we can still hang out and watch the rain we do have a barbecue charcoal cooker that's uh not too bad rotted out it's pretty good shape best of all we have a view of the very choppy lake levon and that is west so we'll have a sunset this evening that's good big beautiful pecan tree lots of pecan trees here be a good place to come and camp during Thanksgiving and pick up pecans all right we finished getting things sorted out with the coach and we'll go see some stuff It's just got rollers, man. And it's breaking over the bank, spraying up on the beach or up on the grass. It's not a beach. This 
This is a beautiful, of the three campgrounds on Lake, on Levon Lake, I, I think this one is probably the better one. All right, I got, I got to have both hands to drive the scooter, so we'll go see some more stuff. I am rather surprised here at, here at Clear Lake Park, there's a, apparently a, a historic cemetery. Uh, needs to be tended to but it looks like there's some veteran graves in here that's a sad thing to see on Memorial Day beautiful pecan trees though getting close to the end of the day here at Clear Lake Park Levon Lake and the one thing I wanted to touch on real quick before the the end of the day and that was an update on the soft start air conditioner test so I've been running both air conditioners full blast. Uh, the temperature inside of the coach is, to, depends on you know, the front one says it's 73, the back one says it's 74, but the, or 75, the sun is shining on the back of the coach. So it's gonna be warmer in the master than it is in the in the front but the important thing is, is I've been running both of them on the 30 amp uh, the adapter is not hot which that's typically where you really generate a lot of heat is where that 30 amp plugs in to the plug now this park I found this out earlier the, the infrastructure in this park is all aluminum wiring it's not copper wire so there's a lot of resistance going there but there haven't been any issue i haven't had any breakers trip so it's not obviously the breaker is not getting hot now i did walk by and step on the cord and it shifted a little bit and that tripped the breaker but i reset it came back on and the air conditioner's been running both of them have been running full blast ever since so I got that that soft start the soft start RV product. It's amazing. That is truly life changing technology. You'll you'll want to watch the video from I guess it was last week, week before last, a couple weeks ago. I did the video. You should watch it. I think it's a great investment. I'm gonna sit here and watch the waves and the wind. And I'll, I'll check back in tomorrow. See what, what has transpired in the meantime. All right. Stay tuned. More to come. Good morning. Man, I really love this coffee cup. I don't know if y'all can hear it. There's a, there's a train in the background. Let's talk about Clear Lake Park. Levon Lake. Uh, I, I, this, this is a nice little park. There's a couple of things that I, I don't care for. Uh, one is the, the fact that there, there's just unattended access. There's nobody at the gate. And so the, the people that live right there outside the gate just come in and out cruise through the campground so there was a, a lot of a lot of drive through traffic yesterday people not camping they're just cruising which I get it but not having a gate attendant just raises the, the level of concern but the same token our sheriff's deputy and park rangers were driving through on a regular basis and the, the campground hosts were I, I guess in communication with the park ranger park ranger came out with a pole saw yesterday because somebody had a tree branch rubbing against their rv seems kind of like a strange job for the park ranger but it is what it is as they say i passed the park ranger while riding little red yesterday he gave me a big smiling wave 
Uh, so apparently he didn't have an issue with me being on Little Red. Talked to a gentleman yesterday who comes out here frequently catfishing. If you're watching, good to meet you. Thanks for that great picture I gave you that I got of you. Here, check out this picture I took. That was a, I thought that was a cool picture. Anyway, I've drifted off topic. We're talking about Clear Lake Park on Levon Lake. The infrastructure, as I mentioned yesterday, is aluminum, all aluminum wiring, which reduces the amount of current flow available. The soft start, no problems at all. I never tripped a breaker until I forgot I was on 30 amp running two air conditioners and tried to microwave something and that tripped the breaker. Uh, but the air conditioners have performed without any problems. They're quieter, so much quieter. I, I didn't have a compressor kick on wake me up at all last night. Speaking of quiet, this park is pretty quiet. You can hear Highway 78, which is over my right shoulder on the other side of the dam. It's not real intrusive. You can hear it. And part of that's because the wind's carrying it from that dirt. Oh, ears itching. Bugs are biting my ear. Uh, the wind is from that same direction, so you're, you're getting the wind carrying the, the sound. Now, Yesterday was Memorial Day, uh, and after the wind started dying down at about five o'clock, the personal watercraft and the, the big boats all came out, and there was a lot of boat noise. But that's to be expected. You're, you know, this is Lake Levon. It's a it's a recreational boating lake, which is one of the advantages of this campground. If you have a boat and you want to be close to the water and be able to park your boat and walk back up to camp or walk down to the boat, this is a good campground for that. It's a pretty little campground. Lots of pecan trees. Uh, it's in need of some maintenance. The roads are getting bad <laughs> over, over the day use area. They're real bad. Uh, and then there's some places here in the campground where I'm concerned that I'm going to drag my leveling system because it's so rutted. The park is well kept. Uh, there's not a whole lot, there's not a lot of big litter, but if you look at the, the grounds here around by the, the, in the campsite, there's a lot of little trash, cigarette butts and pull tabs and uh, that that could be better. It really could. The campground needs refreshing. Better, you know, redoing the pads and putting in some decomposed granite here around the campsite where the grass and weeds have taken over. Lots of shore access here. So if, if you like to bank fish, you can literally just walk down and pick a spot and go to fishing. The fishing wharf, uh, I was over there several times yesterday and no, nobody was catching anything, but that's not saying that you can't catch fish there. Uh, but it was crowded because this, this is not very big. I think more people were catching fish from the bank than they were from the, the wharf. Uh, and most of the fish that they were catching were catfish from what I could tell. Every once in a while you hear a train, you just hear the horn. But of course, you know, when we were over at the other park, I think Clear Lake is, is a good place to come if you've got a boat and you're local and you don't want to travel far. If you can get in, just know that it's 30 amp on aluminum wiring, so that's not going to give you as much oomph from what the other guy was telling me. Yeah, Clear Lake Park. Levon Lake. This closes out Levon Lake in the COE playlist on the map. So if you're looking for a place to camp, I have a map just for you. 
Link is in the description below. It's a it's a Google map with pins for every campground that I have documented and you click on the pin, it opens up the YouTube videos that I have created just for you for that campground. There you go. I, I made it for you. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I really appreciate you stopping by. And I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm here. It's for you. And for my patrons, thank you. I, I'm most grateful. I really, I truly appreciate your support. You rock. And for my fellow veterans, thank you for your service. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?